February is Heart Disease Awareness Month. Each day, more than 2,100 people die from cardiovascular disease. And knowing the signs of a heart attack could save your life. Shelley Boat out now with more in tonight's Health Watch. Many people having a heart attack don't even realize they're having one, which is why it's important for us to listen to our bodies and know the warning signs. Rory McKeefrey didn't, and he's lucky he was able to get to Aurora Baycare Medical Center in time. Tony, good, Roy. Roy McKeefrey's checkup is going great, and he feels the same. No more chest pain since the catheterization? No. Nope. A few days before Christmas, Roy wasn't feeling well. Uh, I just kind of ached all over. I had muscle aches, headache, cramping like in my hand. As the day progressed, I started getting like heartburn, you know, in my, in my chest, which got worse as the day progressed. Thinking he had the flu, Roy went to an urgent care clinic. The doctor at the clinic just told me that I was having a heart attack. So Roy was taken to the cath lab at Aurora Baycare Medical Center and Dr. Scott Westlow. He had the 100% um, blockage, which was causing his large heart attack. He also had a 60 to 70% blockage in another artery. Multiple stents were put in to open up the 100% blockage in the artery. But instead of using a standard cath, Dr. Westlow chose a radial catheterization. Radial cath is going through the wrist. Standard catheterizations are done through the groin. Uh, more and more data is coming out showing that radial cath has less complications and is safer. And time is ticking when you're having a heart attack. Every minute that that artery is blocked, heart muscle is dying. It took Dr. Westlaw only 22 minutes from the time Roy hit the hospital to opening up the blockage. His heart muscle um, did not... Um, sustain much damage. Roy was awake during the procedure and a few hours later I felt amazing. I felt great. It's like send me home. I'm I'm fixed. Not quite. Roy isn't out of the woods yet. For Roy, um, because he has that other blockage, um, we are kind of assessing him whether or not that needs to be opened. But now Roy knows what signs to look for. He spent one night in the hospital and was back home for Christmas. Christmas was very good. <laughs> All the kids were home. It was just a very good feeling to be there. So here are the signs of a heart attack. Discomfort like pain or pressure in the center of the chest that lasts more than a few minutes or goes away and comes back. Pain and discomfort in both arms, back, neck, jaw, or stomach. Shortness of breath, breaking out in a cold sweat, nausea, or lightheadedness. To learn more, you can call Aurora Baycare or email healthwatch at aurorabaycare.com. In the studio, Shelley Botet, Local 5 News, H.